to the BCSP Organizing Committee, the panel of judges, my co-presenters, and the audience on YouTube and Facebook. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I am Janelle P. Villegas from Davao Oriental State College of Science and Technology, and I am here to present the project titled Abundance and Distribution of the Philippine Brown Deer, Rusa Mariana in the Ubu Manuvo Ancestral Domain, Davao City. Before I begin, I would like to introduce to you my co-researchers in this project, Dr. Jason C. Ibanez from the Philippine Eagle Foundation and Mr. Clint Kenny T. Cabrido from Ateneo de Davao University. The Philippine brown deer is endemic in the islands of the Philippines, particularly in Luzon, Mindanao, Samar, and Leyte faunal regions. It is known to be the largest native deer found in the primary and secondary montane and mossy forests. However, in the year 2015, the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species categorized the deer as vulnerable. Later on, in 2019, the Philippine Red List of Threatened Wild Fauna categorized the Philippine deer as endangered. And there have been reports of local extinction in the local populations in Biliran and Catanduanes. Given the rapidly declining population of the Philippine brown deer, there's a need to continuously monitor its population and conservation status across different areas in the Philippines. For one, deer monitoring presents an ecology-based measurement of human impacts on biodiversity. Also, the deer dictates the structure and type of vegetation in the ecosystem, making it as a biological indicator. And lastly, the deer is also known as a culturally identified keystone species. In fact, it has been declared as Pusaka by the Ubu Manuvu indigenous community in Davao City. Pusaka is a practice of sanctifying an object's value to the life, culture, and history of the Ubu Manuvu indigenous community in Davao City, Philippines. We have three objectives for this project. One, we would like to determine the local ecological knowledge of the Ubu Manuvo indigenous community on the Philippine brown deer. Second, we would like to calculate the relative abundance index of the Philippine brown deer within the Ubu Manuvo ancestral domain. And third, we would like to map the distribution of the Philippine brown deer within the Ubu Manuvo ancestral domain. This study was conducted in the Ubu Manuvo Ancestral Domain in Davao City, Mindanao Island, Philippines. Particularly, we considered four barangays as sampling areas. These are Barangay Salaysay, Tambobong, Tawantawan, and Barangay Carmen. Before we began implementing the project, I first presented the paper to the Ubu Manuvo Unified Ancestral Domain Tribal Council of Elders and Leaders, wherein I presented the objectives, the methods, and the nature of the study. After the presentation, I was advised by the council to conduct a community ritual, which I also conducted in Barangay Tambobo. Afterwards, I proceeded with the key informant interviews, wherein I interviewed a total of 12 participants. There are three participants coming from the four barangays, and all of them are actually forest guards, tribal elders, and tribal leaders. After the key informant interviews, we conducted the field survey, wherein we performed camera trapping and distribution mapping methods to check the abundance and distribution of the Philippine brown deer. After the conduct of the field survey, I also validated the results with the Ubu Manuvo indigenous community. However, with the current pandemic, I only conducted the validation of results via virtual platforms. So in the picture, you can see that the Ubu Manuvo indigenous community members were gathered in one location, while I am on the other side 
uh, I'm actually in Mati City presenting the results to them. They were also given the chance to feedback, to comment, and to suggest for the improvement of my results. As to the camera trapping methods, we actually installed 10 camera traps per barangay for a total of 125 days. So all in all, there were 500 camera trapping days for this study. The location of the camera traps were actually determined with the preliminary evidence of deer presence, particularly deer grazing, fecal pellets, hoof prints, and evidence of deer browsing. In each location of the camera trap, we performed GPS mapping wherein we took the GPS coordinates of the locations of the camera traps and the locations of the evidence of deer presence as well. This is helpful for us to determine the distribution of the Philippine brown deer. For the significant findings of this research, we learned that the deer is called as sarong by the Ubu Manuvus. They also describe the deer to have a color of brown to dark brown, and they have claims that there are white deer, although this is not scientifically confirmed. They also confirm that only the males have antlers, while the females do not have, and the fawns have white spots. They also describe the deer to be mainly eating plants, nocturnal with loud barking calls usually heard during full moon and with a population that is gradually increasing due to the community-based conservation efforts. More specifically, the community has forest guards who monitor the population of the deer and the population status of other species as well. As to the threats, they reported that there are hunting activities by the non-members of the tribe in addition to the habitat loss. They also declared the deer to be a posaka and it's being used as a food and medicine to the tribe. Now please allow me to show the camera trapping locations in Barangay Tambobong as denoted by the blue circles here. This is also for Barangay Salaysay for Barangay Tawantawan, and then, and of course, from Barangay Carmen. In summary, here is the relative abundance index of the Philippine brown deer in the Ubu Manuvo ancestral domain. In Barangay Tambobong, 0, Salaysay, 0 0.008, Tawantawan, 0 0.008, Carmen with two individuals detected, 0.016, for a total RAI of 0.008 in 500 camera trapping days. So we concluded that the abundance index of the Philippine brown deer in the Ubu Manuvo ancestral domain is very low. In terms of distribution, we learned that the Philippine brown deer has a broad distribution in the Ubu Manuvo ancestral domain, particularly in open and closed forest covers. We also detected the Philippine deer in primary forests only, with an eleva elevation of 1,518 meters to 1,604 meters above sea level. In our field surveys, we also documented the different conservation threats against the Philippine deer. We noted that there were hunting activities. In the first picture, this is actually a dead Philippine deer that we rescued in one of our field surveys in Barangay Carmen. We also found that there were several deforestation activities in the area that eventually leads to habitat loss. And if you can see in the picture, uh, these are photos of human disturbance. These are actually old camps, photos of old camps that were abandoned by humans. So, for the ways forward in this study, this project is actually under a bigger project entitled Population Status, Community Values, and Gender Roles in the Conservation of the Philippine Deer in the Ubu Manuvo Ancestral Domain in Davao City. So we just concluded with the first phase. So in the, in the coming months, we are set to 
investigate the community values and gender roles in conservation. I would also like to recommend for sustained community-based conservation efforts, particularly on strengthening the forest garden scheme. There's also a need to conduct more biological researches, particularly on the diet of the Philippine brown deer, specifically through DNA barcoding. And of course, we would also like to recommend the use of global positioning system or GPS in the monitoring of deer individuals. That would be all for my presentation. Thank you very much and have a good day, everyone.